Okay, now I'm mad. Now I am properly tilted because like, I just, I can't play today again. Like this is like the second day in a row. I just can't fucking play. Well, to be fair, yesterday I had a couple of good paces, but I guess I'm just shit at the video game. Like cool, man. Can't even run straight. Look at this fucking janky ass line. Give me a lesson on running straight, Shy. How do I hold the stick forward? I can't seem to do it. <laughs> Thank you. Appreciate that. Like, it always just looks so easy when I watch other runners do their lines. You know, like. I want to learn more how to. Like, kind of like very, very minorly bump into objects to like, you know, go as optimal as possible. Like if you just like brush against it like that. It's fine, but How your last three runs died at bad lines in the same mission, if it makes you feel better. Like, the thing is, is that something like that is so hard to find, like, how to fix it until you watch someone else do it, right? So you almost, like, can't really blame yourself for it. Another fucking parry gas going fight. God damn it. Can't punish that because you're against the fucking fence. How about you do something else?
<laughs> Any dancing boys in the chat? game bloodborne or demon souls probably bloodborne game I played this year though like my my favorite new game that I've played this year was Detroit Detroit was really really good also um Ghost of, Shish Ghost of Tsushima is really good I like that game but Detroit was really awesome I loved playing that game for the first time I could do another playthrough of that at some point I would not mind at all that game is so good Really, really enjoyed Detroit. I was the biggest fucking Android apologist in my playthrough. Which is probably like what they wanted you to do, but I was... I was pretty violent, let's just say that. My public opinion was uh, not the best, let's say that much. A lot of my choices were like 11% or like, you know, less than 5%. I literally almost died right there. Oh, your question was outside of FromSofts. I see. Uh, yeah, so Detroit's really good. Um, like I said, Ghost. Uh, get away from me. Mass Effect games. I love all the Mass Effect games. I've even run two and three. I love Monster Hunter Lynn, yeah. One of my all time favorites, Monster Hunter World. Rise is good too. What other games like whenever someone asks me this I always like 
forget and then later I remember like my favorite games. I love Fallout games like uh, New Vegas and 3 are really, really fun. I like those games a lot. Can you step on the pressure plate? Hello? Oh, I'm already losing time. Loved Oblivion, obviously. Another Bethesda game. I loved um, Heavy Rain. That was another game like Detroit, made by the same people. That was like the, one of the first games they made. Um, I like Death's Door a lot. I played that earlier last year. Death's Door is really, really good. Really, really good soundtrack. Really good game. Like Resident Evil games. Monster Sanctuary? I have not heard of that. pretty dark I should probably turn my light on soon lighting's fine right now but it's gonna get dark pretty soon so I probably turn my light on on the next quit out I don't know when my next quit out is though don't remember back is there is there any audio or do I have to restart my whole stream audio is gone but
Hello? Is there audio now? Thank you. Sorry, I had two days of good internet and now we're back to shit, so that pisses me off. Like, my internet sucks and there's nothing I can really do about it, so unfortunately, we have to just deal with it. I have the shittiest provider in America, but Comcast. Move to Canada? I want to. I want to move anywhere that isn't the United States. Except apparently don't get Rogers. Yeah, I heard they had like some like meltdown. That seems like a normal day in America, though. It seems like every time that I check that like down detector website, there's always somebody that says Comcast is down. Literally always somebody. It's like down in St. Louis or like, you know, down in Louisiana. And it's just like, <laughs> are you ever up? Is, do you ever have good like connection Comcast? Like, what's your deal? I need, I, I need to have someone come out and be like, oh, it's fine on my end. But. Gotta just do it anyway. Gotta have someone come out and look at it. Because it has been shit recently. Yeah, Stream Elements has got me. Blanks is live, guys. Blanks is live. Yeah, I was actually just splicing while my stream was down for a second. You guys actually, like, just didn't notice. I just spliced the run. I have this on a uh, local recording and I think local recording will keep the audio. That's good at least. It's just because I, I have split Twitch VOD and audio tracks. That's why this, the audio doesn't come back. I may have to disable that. I just don't like music being in my PBs. I'd rather have my PBs without music. But if I have to, you know, have music on my PBs so that they won't cut out halfway through, then I'll take that. Honestly. Not really sure what else to do at this point. I can't really do anything about my internet being shit. YouTube copyright. Yeah, I mean, I, I guess it's better to have the audio and then it, it actually like comes back right when my stream comes back. Instead of what happened here is my VOD split into two because I hit stop streaming on um, on uh, OBS. So now I have two VODs, which means that my average viewer is going to get fucked over by that. 
because now it was two separate streams in the same day. And when I hit my peak, I'm going to be on this stream and not, you know, the stream from like an hour ago. So that sucks like that. That's happened to me a lot recently, and it's really dragging down my average viewer number, which fucking sucks when you're pushing for partner. It doesn't matter, yeah. It's just it's more for the stream, like cause I don't I don't want to like play without any audio, not even like my my mic being on for however many hours I'm gonna stream for, because no one like people are gonna leave obviously if I let it stay without audio. It's not fun for anybody when there's no audio on the stream. Yeah, that's good to know that like audio doesn't matter for submissions. It's good information to have. Fuck you. Kind of want a yellow rom. Let's do it. Actually got good RNG and ROM, crazy. Insane Yolor. That was the best possible RNG when she backsteps away from the spiders. So I'll take that, I guess. At least the easiest RNG, maybe not so much the best or whatever, but it's the easiest to convert on. Thank you for the GG. a shit line fuck yeah this is so shit 
I can see them following me. Might as well just quit out. They're going to be here still, but they're not going to bother me. It's the same at line as any percent now. That's just free. Like I should, I should, I should quit out like every time that I'm ahead here, because I, I fucking hate dying right there. That's so annoying to die right there. Cause you can't see anything, so it's like super unfair. Like you can't really even react to anything like until you get there, and you have to like just commit to the line, even though like they're in the bad spot, you know. Man, Yola Rom is gonna get a dick thing when I start doing it in all boss snow clip. I feel like doing Yola Rom, getting your first golds are like the gateway to suffering. What? What D said, his like gateway into doing Yellow Rom every run was doing it on like a good pace and like that's like doing it with that nervous feeling in your chest is just like how you, you know, learn to accept everything that it could possibly do. I think I have done that before, but not on like insane pace before. It's just so worth it. Like the risk is so worth the reward if you're at that level where you could really use that time save. Wow, that strafing was pretty immaculate right there. That was an immaculate one reborn fight. Okay, now we should finish the run because everything is consistent from here on out. Thank you. My positioning there was really, really good. That was why I was able to do that. My positioning was very, very good right there. I was in a spot where I could R1 back away from the corpse drop, R1 again. And I strafed a fireball as well, so that was just like super good positioning on my end right there.
Miss, miss. That was like a two second time loss right there. Holy shit. By, um, like, missing the level up, I pressed left too early instead of, um. Yeah, I already know my mistake there. Bad dream segment. Could have been a lot better. Spider Manip did not work, feels man. No, come on. No, 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 no. Thank you. That guy blocked me on a run that I had. I like this line where you don't stop. You stop like right around here and regen a little bit. Okay, cool. The insane Swedish manip. idle animation dude
spell with that kind of well. Thing is that I wanted to do the, the plunge fast so I could gold, but at the same time, I, you know, should have probably lined it up a little bit better than I did. That's my fault for losing time right there. I mean, I, I probably could have golded if I had like just lined it up a little bit better, but that's still not bad for a double Swedish. My PB is almost a perfect double Swedish, so. Or whatever you call it, my gold is almost a perfect double Swedish, I should say. So that's not terrible at all. I'll take that like any day of the week. As long as I like didn't like, you know, miss out on too much time save there, like I pretty much saved all that I could. With how bad I played the second phase, so. All good here. Nice. And I shouldn't frenzy here coming out because it fully finished the frenzy. Maybe it, like had to. I don't know. This is a little bit tricky then to get like your line right with uh, this amount of stamina. Very, very weird amount of stamina. Yeah, this could be kind of weird. Nice. That was fine, I guess. I will heal on the elevator. I'll heal on the elevator here. Sure, I remember to heal in the elevator. Thank you, Lynn. I got this though. I'm I'm really confident. mistake there. Fuck. Kinda glad she did that. It's like now we're in a really bad spot. kind of glad she did it the way that she did it like I'm gonna not gold and I may even lose some time but that was my fault like that was kind of a that was a tricky nurse to make work so I can't really blame myself too much but yeah I'm gonna lose a little bit of time here for sure that was tricky to make work though so I don't really blame myself too hard for that That's a teleport fight, and then I played it kind of sloppy, so I deserve that time loss for sure. I blame myself entirely. I just, I want to keep this mindset of like, having accountability. Nightbot fucked your pyramid, dude. You got it on your screen? Nice. Very nice. Probably gonna have to make bullets at some point in this run.
Okay, so I figured out that it's about at these pillars right here. You want to go Hunter's Mark line. That should be good enough stamina. The tricky part about Nightmare Frontier and Glitchless is not getting the Winter Lantern to frenzy you. Like, saving Violet is really important in this category because you take a lot of poison damage in these segments. So... Really gonna have to try to not take any more damage from Frenzy. Because I'm doing really well on Vials, but it would be great to not take any more, you know? Chat to sort timings. Oh, for Orphan? Nice. Yeah, feel free. Ah! Oh my god. Why did he jump? He's never done that before. Holy shit. That was fucking scary. Oh, no frenzy. Pog. Come on, don't frenzy me. Pog. I, I literally thought I just died right there. What the fuck, man? I have never seen that before, by the way. That's the first time I've ever seen that. Alright, Hattie, if I did cave skip, would you tell Flare it? Or should I just stick to the rules? You know, just 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 one tiny glitch. Just one tiny glitch. Really? You, you'll tell on me? Damn it. He'll never notice. Just one tiny glitch. <laughs> I told Cookie to do orphanage key skip today. I was like, Flare it won't notice. And then I said, and then I said, is Hamlet skip really a glitch? All you're doing is abusing stored positioning and a slope quit out to go out of bounds and bypass the whole area. Just like memeing, obviously. Just like the arguments people make for things not being glitches. Hey, Ali, thank you. Appreciate the luck, man. This is my first ever, uh, what do you call it? Good pace with Yolo Rom, I guess. The only reason why this run has life is because of Yolo Rom. This is like Marchy pace, I think, or Eden pace, I would say. Not, it's not record pace anymore. I think record died a while ago in the early game. But obviously that would take a lot more grinding. But yeah, this is like marchy pace or something. Depending on how much time I lose in the DLC. How am I today? I'm doing well today. Thank you for asking. My nerves are fucking activated now. I mean, they'll be even more active when I do Ebriatus. I'll be a nervous wreck at Ebriatus. Probably.
But I have to just treat it like practice, you know? It's all just practice. It's all just practice. I'm gonna turn off my AC. It's a little bit hot in here. Or cold, sorry. ESC has been draining you. <laughs> Glad to hear. Hope you're having a good time. Have any plans going to doing events? I'd like to submit something to GDQ or something at some point in time, yeah. And even if I don't submit anything, I, I'd like to go if, if some of my friends went, for sure. Sounds like a really good time. Like, at one point in time, I want to do a Demon Souls run, I think. Or a Bloodborne run, you know, either would work. Sounds like a lot of fun. Just get both accepted. Demon born. Yeah. All right. Fucking no. My light, dude, dude. My light is like flickering. It's about to go out. No, my fucking light is distracting me. What the fuck, man? Dude. What the fuck? Always some random fucking cosmic rays bullshit that kills my runs, dude. Every fucking time. I don't know, this shit's just fucking over. Like, I can't focus anymore.
I just lost like 10 seconds in this segment from not doing YOLO emissary and then being fucking distracted by my light. Very cool. Thank you, Ali. He almost landed on me and killed me, dude. What the fuck? This run is so cursed, man. Come on, Abby. Take me to the DLC. Yep, five seconds to the... Mm -hmm -hmm. I'm gonna explode. Like, actually gonna just fucking explode. Oh, I almost went to go level my weapon. That would have been really bad. That would have been like a 15 second time loss. So I went to go upgrade my weapon. I had no echoes. I could probably save like 20 more seconds before I get to Garamoon, which is absolutely insane that I have this much time saving the late game. So I'm going to just let it play out. It's just it's really hard to not crack under pressure on these spaces. Like it's hard to describe the feeling, but it's fucking intense. I mean, I guess the Marchi face just died to that meme in the Upper Cathedral. So I guess I can kind of breathe now, but... Still got a lot of run to go, so I shouldn't really get excited. Like, ever. On this run. If you get excited at all during the Bloodborne speedrun, you're setting yourself up for disappointment. When you don't, you know, when you don't do it. You're just setting yourself up for disappointment. If you were at all excited about your pace or whatever. Need to breathe. And don't get emotional. And just play it like you're a machine. That's what it takes.
I guess there's no point in having anything else selected besides elixir, so I'll just have elixirs on my bar. Let's see what this guy's positioning is. It's, you know, it's normal. Okay. Fuck you, torch guy. I fucking hate that guy. I don't know how to do that line like without taking too much damage. I just lost like five seconds to that line, dude. What the fuck? Still okay? Yeah, I'm just losing a ton of time just to shit. Like, oh, like me being nervous. Like, oh, I can't just play like a fucking machine, man. Like, I can do it. I don't know why I'm so scared that I can't. I'm late. I'm late. I'm late. I'm late. Fuck. Fuck. Fuck me, dude. What the fuck? I'm so shit at this video game, man. I'm just fucking throwing, man. What is wrong with me? Just play the fucking video game, man. How hard is it? I put so many hours in the practice and I just have this dog shit, like nervous mentality when I get on a good run. Like what the fuck? We went from fucking minus 20 to minus 10 in like three segments. Submarchy is now officially dead, by the way, unless I gold everything. Like, they don't even do YOLO ROM and I can't even fucking get on their level.
and Ogun, so I know. Just so disappointed, like. It's okay. decent got some bad rng though but i played it pretty well i can say that much I shouldn't have. Uh, I don't know. Maybe I. No, yeah, I definitely should have made bullets. Like, it's only one vial. I don't think I'll need seven more. If I do, then I'm playing wrong. Fuck this part. I'm gonna have a fucking hard time doing this. Oh, oh, I'm so nervous right now. Not over yet. Still got to do this shit. This is worse than doing orphan, dude. Maybe not, but that is fucking terrible doing on a good pace. Thank you, Hattie. Hope you're proud. <laughs> 
I spent a long time learning that today. I think my problem is that I care too much. Like, holy shit. I am, I'm so invested right now in this run. Like, I could have been minus 30, right? If I didn't fuck up on Ludwig, I could have been literally minus 30 right now. And that would have been sub Marchy pace. But I can't really think about the what ifs at this point. Just gotta close it out. Thank you, Lynn. Hello. I was a little bit late. Should have L1 there. I didn't want to get a visceral, so I should have L1'd. Would have gotten a gold if I L1'd, I think. That jump saves time, right, Hattie? I'm not just like doing that for nothing. Like that that jump actually saves time. You don't think so? But it's fun. Yeah, D Planet calls it the um the PB jump. I should probably stop doing it then if it doesn't save time. It does mess up your stamina as well, so maybe it's not worth doing. Want a little bit of stamina here so I can roll this dog. I'm sick of getting hit by him and losing like three seconds.
maybe not three, but you get stunned, so you have to like get back up again, and you can also get hit while you're getting back up. I'm waiting for my stamina to come back to full right here. Right here. Oh, I don't think this is going to be enough stamina. I'll do a little bit more. Yeah, that wasn't going to be enough, I don't think. Shouldn't be doing an L1 there. I just do it for comfort. Howdy, would you recommend not quitting out there in glitch just because uh, you don't do the barrel quit out obviously but like I quit out because um, I just want to reset all the enemies but maybe it's not worth it in glitch list I'm not sure it's more consistent that way but I don't know maybe I'm wrong I have no clue you don't quit out, but you're stupid. Yeah, but it saves time, so I'm sure it's like gonna end up being, you know, in an optimal glitchless run. Quit out any or non quit out anyway. Open up! Let me in! Holy shit. My heart is fucking racing right now, guys. I, I don't know, like, I don't know what to do. I'm just a nervous wreck. I don't have ice in my veins like some other runners do, like Marchi. I just don't really want to say anything. Just want to like close it out. Just finish strong.
Here we go. Here we go, baby. Let's fucking go. Haste means nothing. It's just practice. It's just let's do it. Let's fucking do it. No regrets. Just fucking leave it all out there. Let's fucking go, dude! Let's fucking go! I'm so pumped right now. Yes! Yes! Oh my fucking god, finally. Ah! Uh, ah! Uh, holy shit! Holy shit! My heart is gonna be out of my fucking chest right now. Ah! Uh, ah! Uh, let's go! Sub 11! Sub 1230! Holy shit! We did it! Holy shit! We fucking did it! Let's go! Yes! Oh my god, I can breathe now. Oh, thanks for the GG's guys. Thanks for the Franker Z's. Hi Marchi, how you doing? Hey time flashes. Hey Akmology, I think you were in here earlier. <laughs> you got off the air walking to the airport and you just saw that? Dude! Let's fucking go. That is third place. We got third place in that run. Let's go, dude. Let's go. Yes. Holy shit. That's third place, right? Oh my god. I have I have a local recording, Bizus. It's gonna have to go on YouTube. It's gonna have to go on YouTube, but yeah. Local recordings count as well. Dude, let's fucking go, man. Finally, top five in any Bloodborne category. I don't care what category it is. Finally. Finally, I'm top five in any category. Holy shit. What a banger run. All right. Well, I got to wrap my, my, up my submission because this is going on for really, really long. So thank you, verifiers. And this will be the end of my YouTube video. So thank you, everyone, for watching. Appreciate it. As always, I'll catch you all in the next PB. Love you all.